here are my top 10 favorite The Babysitter Kills from the franchise. Basically from the two movies that we have. So, I mean, if you've seen both those lists, you could probably guess what's going to be at the top. But here we go. At number 10 is uh, John from Killer Queen. Uh, he gets, uh, he cuts a cable and horns come, come and get impaled in his head. It's bloody. Uh, it's pretty unique. Uh, that's, that's a pretty cool kill. Number nine is Allison from The Babysitter Killer Queen. Uh, she gets stuck in a cliff. Uh, Cole and Phoebe, um, try and get her down. They rip her body from her head. Her body just falls to the ground, and a rock crushes it. Uh, it's pretty bloody. I, I kind of like that kill. And it's, um, uh, it is a decapitation, but it's different because instead of just getting it cut off, it's, it's pulled from the body. So that's pretty cool. Number eight is Melanie's dad from, well, obviously Killer Queen, but, um, since he's human, you know, can't die. I guess they're all human. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> uh, forget I said that. Uh, Melanie's dad, uh, it's, it's pretty cool because he gets his arm chopped off and gets stabbed in the gut by Melanie. That was, that was pretty cool. It's kind of played for laughs, but it is gory, so, th so that's, that's kind of cool. If it was played a little more seriously, it might have hiked up one or two spots, but it's still a pretty cool kill. Num number seven, now this is a hike up uh, from number eight, and so it's police number one from from the first movie. Uh, he gets his throat slit, and it is just gory and just so brutal and awesome. So that's that's pretty cool. Uh, number six is... The first kill, the OG kill of the Babysitter franchise, and it is Sacrifice Samuel. He, he, uh, he is about to kiss B. She stabs him in the head with two knives, and just blood is coming out of his head, and when they take the knives out, blood just spews everywhere. It spews everywhere on John. It really sets the tone for... Uh, the kills. Bloody, but funny, too. So, he's the first kill of the entire franchise, and it is still one of the best kills of the franchise. So, Sacrifice Samuel is at number six. Number five is Sonya from Killer Queen. She gets decapitated by a surfboard. Um... The weapon is pretty unique, using a surfboard, and it's decently gory, so that's cool. So now, another uh, jump up uh, quality hike in kills, and that is number four is Boom Boom, the first kill of the second movie. She gets a hook in the throat and just throat slit with a hook. It's gory, blood is spewing everywhere. Again, it also... Uh, that is also, like, the kind of patriarch of what the kills are in the franchise. Uh, kind of, I guess. I guess it's, like, gory and funny. But this one has one of them. It's gory, so that's cool. Uh, number three is John from number one, from the first babysitter. He falls, falls onto a table, falls onto a sharp trophy, goes through his neck, in the side and comes out the other end. So that is gnarly. That is that is so sick and awesome at the same time. So yeah. That's it. Uh number two is Allison from the first movie. She is about to kill Cole and then her head just gets blown up by a shotgun by B. B shoots the shotgun Allison's head just blows up 
like a bomb. And it is gory. It is awesome. Gore. Blood just goes all over Cole's face. It is awesome. But my number one favorite, the babysitter kill, is police number two from the first movie. He gets a fire poker into, into his eye by Max. He comes over, wiggles it around, and then just crushes his skull. Or not crush it, like he severs it. I don't know. He just rams that fire poker up, and it is gnarly and so awesome. So that is my favorite, the babysitter... That is my favorite, the babysitter kill from the franchise. Thanks for watching.